Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Marta Lapkowska here and I'm delighted to be back to you and welcome you on some evening art journaling session. It's quite late but I felt like uh, maybe we do some art journaling today. I grabbed some old book like I did and for a change I have gelatos to be used because we didn't use them for ages, ages, ages. I actually cannot remember recent project using those. Um, I have created some pages already in here if you remember. It's just an old book about wine. Uh, I like the sh size shape of the pages here so uh, I've already created uh, pages in this book, videos on video on this one or this one is on my YouTube channel. Uh, I will of course link that below somewhere in the video or I will give it at the end or something <laughs> like that. To start off um, I thought why not to make a little bit different and use some washi for a change because we haven't uh, used much washi either and I have this beautiful washi from Japan that actually could be colored. We're not gonna color it, we're not gonna really concentrate too much on on the design itself but the fact that it's so pretty look <laughs> I would love to somehow incorporate this in my page background and yeah and also if it's uh, wrinkly a little bit that's even better because we will try to create a little bit of texture not too much because this is uh, this is just kind of it's not gonna be extremely dimensional this whole book I rather keep it quite flat if I can say rather than very dimensional. So I'm just grabbing the random washi here just to uh, bring some interest, just to build up something. When we will uh, add uh, gelatos colors and all, <laughs> of course it will all change it look. So don't uh, don't look at it um, that, you know, that precise and don't be afraid to just go with the flow, <laughs> stick it wherever you feel like, whatever type of washi you own, <laughs> uh, because it does not matter really. <laughs> Look at them designs. I got this washi from Phoebe, my great friend from Japan. <laughs> Look how cool is this, something completely different uh, that I didn't use be before. I just found some other washi. We have plenty washes, am I right? When we start creating, we think that washi is something that we need <laughs> and then we actually don't use it. Um, I use it so rarely, but I love it so much. So what a strange combination. I really, really, really love my washi, but I really, really don't appreciate it enough. So maybe time, time to change. Actually, recently that's exactly what I thought. I wish to start using my products, things that I bought, never used, fell in love in things and forget about them or put them away just because something else is in the fashion. So I really, really wish to change that and change that and start using my supplies. Here is another one, that's from Jane Davenport, beautiful, um, beautiful, pretty, 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 extremely pretty, um, what you call them? They are uh, mermaids. I have some eyes as well, and that's kind of mysterious looking eyes. I don't know what, whether we're gonna kind of... Um, incorporate that somewhere or not. We have some cactus as well. <clears throat> so as I said don't uh, concentrate too much on your uh, design just stick it however you feel like and go for it. <laughs> okay I think we are pretty much done here. I like what I see. I love what I see actually I should say. <laughs> What I need to do now is to prepare my background using gesso, white gesso or transparent, a mix of both maybe. Um, I have some, <coughs> excuse me, white gesso here. So I'm gonna gently go over with my brush. 
Now we're gonna say again, oh, you're just wasting because you're just covering everything. Well, I'm gonna use a mix of transparent gesso and white gesso, as you can see now. This one is clear, so I'm painting, but <clears throat> I'm not covering my design too much. So, we will see. As I said, I wish this to be more of intuitive, yet again, intuitive, and to, to kind of um, relax about things and, you know, treat this as a bit of fun time. No precision here needed. No knowledge needed. Just play with your supplies and enjoy that process. So, there we go. I think more or less the whole page is covered. And I think what I wish maybe as well is to make some texture. So maybe I could use a palette knife. Let me see. A little palette knife with some white gesso. Just to maybe create some bit of um, texture with the with gesso just a bit you know just for interest just to so we still see things maybe not that much as you wish but we will see we will see at the end of the day where this will take us so let's dry this and let's just make sure that everywhere is painted so I'm gonna just grab my brush just in case if it's not everywhere uh, but I think it's pretty much everywhere when you do like tap tap with your spatula it's nice because you create some bit of interest as well to your page which is which is nice and could end up pretty interesting let's dry my background is dry my pages are dry and I have gelatos here now um, which colors I actually don't know I'm thinking to, to kind of add some colors here and there and just see um, what will happen so first what we will do we will add some colors and then we will try to blend in this is the reason why we have added the uh, <coughs> um, the back we covered background with gesso because we want to make sure that the pigment will lay nicely and we can play around with it nicely so this will help us our um, background painted with with gesso will help us to <clears throat> spread the color around hmm which colors which colors I think that gelatos are those type of products that when they appeared on the market everyone was like oh, I need to have them I need to have them I need to have them and then it kind of went to I don't know how to use it and yeah they're not the easiest to work with you know why because problem is that we um, they are kind of waxish in a way and not every product will work on top of them. That's the hardest part in in my eyes at least. So this is what I'll be fighting and I'll be trying to figure out what can we add actually today on top of that. I have no plan as always. Those uh, projects are usually not unplanned. Like today, there's no plan. So we will see where our rainbow goes and how this will be. I think we can start working with our page. And I will take a baby wipe <clears throat> and I will start gently blending blending our colors. So I start with yellow and move on to the yellow one as well, like now. <clears throat> Oh, I like it's semi-transparent, which is nice because it gives me this chance to maybe add more color and that things will be visible a little bit here and there. We will see. I like that so far. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, grab some spray water and just spray it directly on your page and you know go with it you don't need to use baby wipe you can use 
whatever you have water or oh I like that <laughs> I love dark colors to work so yes this um, gelato product I love it I enjoy it uh, but it could be troublesome for some if you don't practice enough so I don't practice enough <laughs> so I find it difficult sometimes and like today we're just gonna go for it and try to experiment together and see I didn't add that much pigment so we can always try to blend in more and add more pigment if we feel like oh we need more I like that I didn't make a mock yet <laughs> everything is possible but so far I didn't make a mock which is good because it's easy to when you blend in the colors to you know went too far go too far and have a mock everywhere so this is nice I like that I like that semi-transparent of it really really nice I'm not too sure, too sure what I was expecting to be honest I just thought okay <laughs> let's just do it that way this this time and maybe even when everything is so blended in maybe it will be easier to I add some more color maybe it will be easier to kind of um, paint over I don't know I'll see maybe the dark one as well the dark blue a little bit we have no green should we have some green or what <laughs> or what Red? No, not today. No red today. A tiny bit of purple. Could be okay. Could be. Let's see. I'm going slowly now because I like what I have but I, I don't want to have it destroyed. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this nearly gone. This blue is nearly gone. So, it's nice. It's nice. I like it. Very different. Very interesting background so far. What do you think? You like that? Semi-transparent, which is cool. I still see designs underneath it, which is nice. You can, if you feel like it, wash it off more, I guess, from part of the designs like this. Uh, because we gesso it, so look. And it could be more visible if you feel like it. Can you see? So yeah but I like when it's more colored so oops I'm happy to add more color maybe in there <clears throat> what's this color about that's nice pink <laughs> I love it now I'm thinking what to do next maybe some stencils what you think guys what you think what would be nice to add right now maybe stencils Let's grab some of the stencil here and what about if I, what I will do is I'm gonna grab some block maybe and I will do a little bit like what's the word like a um, paste kind of thing. <coughs> And here as well with the dark one and maybe I'm gonna grab this from or maybe with my finger first mm -hmm. now hold on your stencil firmly because it's gonna move so you have to hold it very tight <clears throat> That's nice. What will happen if I go with my with my baby wipe? That's nice. I like that. I like that. Okay, so that's our design here. We can do similar thing here actually. I guess grab some no, maybe more. Don't. Ah! I wanted to say don't move, <laughs> but it moved. Uh, which color? Maybe. This one is different purple. It's metallic. Mm. 
not too convinced. But what about that red actually? <clears throat> red and this blue maybe. Okay, now where where will we where did we stop? Okay. Okay, I like that. Can you see? You barely can see. So I'm holding my stencil very tight and I'm jumping with my color here and there. <clears throat> Adding. There we go. Darker one as well. Super, I like that. Very nice, very interesting. Now, what I wish to do as well, I think. <laughs> I wish to do a bit of white stenciling, I guess, and I could use just gesso with it. So I can maybe just go from the middle part and just use gesso, like a paste, like a paint. I'm not too convinced. It's so so, it's okay, it's semi transparent, it's a bit 3D ish to me. Maybe nearly too much. <clears throat> um, Faber Castell had this funny, uh, what you call it, funny um, spongy thing. What will happen if we. Oh, yeah, you can make some circles with it, maybe. Or probably it could be good for stenciling, I'm guessing. Maybe. So much not not my cup of tea <laughs> maybe I'll use a different stencil then or maybe I'm gonna use yeah I go with this stencil and hold on tight <laughs> okay So we are building layers after layers after layers after layers to come up with something. Oh, I like that now. I do. A bit more color. Maybe the red one. Oh, love that. Come on, a red one. We do it here as well. <laughs> Super. I think I I'm gonna try to cover this up a little bit. The it's like a um, guinea pig <laughs> or some squirrel or something, <laughs> something interesting there. So just a little bit of a hideout, I would say. Maybe here as well. Just touches. I think we pretty much ready here to do something. Let me just maybe dry that a little bit and I'll be back to you. Okie dokie, so this is dry looking very nice and pretty and what came to my head is let's draw some face. Let's just sketch something. Um, shall we? <laughs> In the middle. In the middle. <clears throat> um, so I'm doing, it's not gonna be a sketch sketch a tutorial as such, but I will try to tell you how the way I do it. So I'm, I've done some oval kind of oval uh, circle, oval shape, and I divide the, the head in like middle middle and middle of the middle <laughs> the fourth so this will be my this is gonna be my eyes here <clears throat> and my nose not easy in the <laughs> middle of the book and the mouth the mouth okay now it would be probably much easier if I have this kind of um, 
maybe paint it <laughs> with some paint. What about Jane Davenport paints? Um, she has those skin tones uh, paints, so I think it would be nice to maybe use them. Use them up. Okay. Now. We shall see how it's gonna be. I'm gonna probably have to repaint uh, the eyes, but that's fine. That's okay. So we have some sort of head here. <laughs> some bit of head. Now. Mm -hmm. And we have some neck as well. <laughs> Hair, I have no clue. No clue here. Some ears. I actually never concentrate on ears. But, okay. <clears throat> Let's dry this a little bit. I dried that kind of fish and I felt like, you know what, maybe I wish to have a little bit of translucent dish look. This is acrylic paint, but I'm gonna try to re retake the color just a little bit. It's not that I feel it's a mistake. No, I just wish this to be maybe less so kind of orange and I wish to have them designs more visible basically. So it's easier now to paint something over uh, with eyes and stuff but as well we have some bit of design underneath it if you know what I mean. If you see, I'm changing my uh, my uh, what you call it, <clears throat> changing my tissue uh, wet wipe, so it's easier for me. Now this is nice. Now I like that. I like that. We have some color, but it's not so obvious. Let's dry. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, just ordinary HB pencil to sketch. Yeah, this one. I can't find the sharpener. School is tomorrow. Emily is going to school tomorrow, so I got her new sharpener, of course, like an, a sharpener number 225 because uh, we just need so many sharpeners at home because we they just disappear on us, isn't it? Okay, I think I I made my eyes too high because I didn't do the lines, so I clear click click. <laughs> I'm gonna. Quick, quick, quickly re redo that. So this is my middle. So this is my, here is my eye. So it's like the uh, almond shape, is it? Or what is it? Yeah, kind of almondish. Now, much easier, isn't it now to see it for you? Well, it's still, <laughs> it's still not easy to see, but it's much easier to see, I think. So, yeah. And I think we need some weight maybe there. Now this is middle and this is middle of the middle <laughs> and middle of the middle and this is these are our lips. Lips is my weak point and nose is my weak point. Well faces in general are my weak point. Well let's let's face it like okay and this is the hairline somewhere somewhere something but I don't know yet what it's gonna be so we, we will leave this for now. I think it would be nice and super if we paint that white. I need white paint. Okay, so this is our eye. <clears throat> and we will paint that white. I'm using gesso actually. White gesso and I'm gonna dry this quickly. I think it's time for some watercolors. So I have some watercolors here. And again, use whatever colors you have. Um, mm, I like that. I don't know what happened to her nose. <laughs> Uh, I think that uh, when I do my girls, I do believe that the most important part 
is the it's eyes actually. It's not their color. It's nothing but the eyes. I think it's so hugely important and uh, the way she looks and yeah I think I feel the most of intentions from them kind of so mm. okay um I have to say painting faces it's not easy drawing faces it's not easy but it is possible to learn it because I have done that nobody is born with skill of no there is few born with a skill of being amazingly talented and that way they're amazing in maybe face drawing or oh and eyebrows what an important part of face <laughs> always looks different without them so eyebrows and eyelashes <laughs> this is something I extremely need always um so yes um I do believe that everything is possible to that we can learn everything anything and it's good to try practice and trust me that's all you need practice and everything will be different when you practice it's so much easier when you do try <clears throat> now painting watercolors on acrylic it's gonna be challenging I can sense it now I can see it but I'm gonna chance it plus painting on and uh, that um, watercolor paper and painting on colored already color like this um, this skin tone color thing it's gonna be challenging but you know what I will take that chance I'm gonna go with it and go with the challenge basically what I'm trying to say is this so I'm gonna challenge myself with using and working around what I have because this is a, a, oftentimes what happens we this is how we learn our supplies this is how we learn um, what we can do with certain things what we shouldn't do or what works best so practicing and trying out that's what I'm trying to say uh, I had another oh I have it it's one of my favorite set as well it's this one it's gorgeous I love it I think it's stunning no, not this color sorry we want the green one I do think we need the green here <clears throat> so I'm trying to kind of I don't know what I'm trying to do <laughs> I'm just trying to make this uh, face pretty and maybe ugly or maybe sad or maybe interesting I don't know I don't know yet I'm not I'm not thinking about it I'm just painting away and enjoying the process so so if this is what you're doing then do it then do it I love that <clears throat> it's so much different painting on not the watercolor surface with watercolors let's just face that it's nearly like impossible it's like what? it doesn't work it's not what I wish it's not pretty it's awful it's not happening or but I'm gonna work it <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to see whether it's possible to to do what I love to do I need to get rid of this a little bit it was too much too dark too fast <laughs> so let's try again make our girl sad maybe sad mm -hmm. no green one green one 
I need maybe a bigger brush. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. Follow the leader. Follow your water. Follow the leader here. <laughs> She's extremely dark and sad, isn't she? But that's okay. That's what I wish for her to be today. <clears throat> it, life would be uh, too easy if we all do pretty things. It's good to do not so pretty things sometimes, I think. I like that. I'm not too sure why am I why am I rushing now? Because I feel I'm rushing. As in movements of my brush are quite fast and I'm not too sure why. I'm not rushing anywhere any anywhere, so why am I rushing? Tell me. <laughs> but I am quite a fast person, that's uh, most definitely. So for some it's hard to keep up, maybe. <clears throat> yellow, a little bit of yellow. Touches of yellow, maybe yellow here as well. I'm still thinking what to do on her on her uh, hair on her hair because I have no idea now I think we're gonna have to do something different mm, something pretty but different pretty but different I love how it looks here I have to say but I wish to have a love feeling to both sides of my painting so I'm gonna keep up keep on adding things mm -hmm. um, we're gonna outline things as well and we will uh, just do things still with this lady so what you see now it's gonna look a little bit different when we start outlining and when we really add definition to eyes and everything so it can it may look strange now I suppose it it looks <laughs> it does look strange to you but it's gonna be nice I hope <laughs> I do hope so now I'm going to clean those and put them here on the side and I wish to think for the nose now and just a little bit okay now just some bit of for some reason my girls never smile. <laughs> I'm not too sure why, but they don't. I'm gonna dry this for now. I dried a little bit, but I still wish to wish for something more. It's not that I know for what, but something else I wish to happen. I need more color. I love that side, it's absolutely perfect and that's the beauty of things that sometimes it works and we can't repeat but that's the beauty as well of trying each individual individual uh, um, painting, drawing, you know it's always so different so so it's nice hand drawing, handmade in general all of that is about different you know and being original in it so it's 
coming together a little bit, isn't it? She does. Look at you. Can you see? <laughs> look at her. Look at her, because I can see her, and I love her two bits already. I think she needs a name. I don't know what, but I think she does needs need to have a name. Now we have some white here, but this white is off white. <laughs> doesn't look like white so that's fine I'm gonna leave it now I'm still trying to figure out my colors and what else I wish to add to make this wow 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 <laughs> and I don't want to destroy the right hand side of my painting because it's absolutely amazing and I am worried that I'm gonna lose the beauty but uh, there is the saying, who doesn't risk, doesn't win, or doesn't know. Oh, it looks now nice now. I love that. Love, 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 love. Now, for the, for the hair, let me dry this and talk to you in two seconds. My page is dry-ish. <laughs> so now the big question is what we're going to do here on her, fa on her hair. And I was thinking, what about we just go for an option where we do some flowers and I'm just gonna draw dry draw, draw them I'm, I will draw the flowers maybe there with the flowers on or maybe just one flower and I don't know maybe just one or maybe two and then maybe a little one here and No, this this line is a bit too much. <laughs> I like that idea. Okay, I do like this. <clears throat> this this kind of talk talk to me. It does. <clears throat> now number two flower does talk to me as well, which is nice. And maybe just this little one here on its own, or the one more here. Yeah, and that's it. There we go, I think we have it. Now, I'm going to try and see uh, if I can use my Ecoline um, brush markers, brush pens. Those are watercolors, so I'm going to just try to see where will this take us now, if we just go with the just try to use it and see since we are used so many of different supplies we can try and try to kind of see <clears throat> mm, that looks good and it does work so <laughs> I like that. Look how nicely you can smush them. Hmm. Super. I love that. Now, I think it's time to. <clears throat> we can take a uh, watercolor, um, not watercolor, what you call it. Oh, you see? This is what happens with your brush when you hold it, keep it too long in the water it goes bad like mine okay I like that washy look I actually love that washy look to be honest so I'm gonna stick with it for now and I think I'm gonna go for turquoise teal bluish flower because it's gonna work uh, with our I think it will work with our eyes, maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 two seconds, okay, I'm, I'm back, <clears throat> I'm trying to 
I think I'm gonna wash that off a little bit and maybe make the make it slightly different. Let me see. Uh -huh. Ta -da. to blend in this nicely. <clears throat> okay. I guess it's different yet again <laughs> painting on a collage surface rather than white background. So much easier with white background I guess but uh, I like the idea of trying to kind of uh, you know, go out of your comfort zone and just do it a bit different. So I like that. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, no, 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 no. Where did you go, my lid? <laughs> okay. It's not that actually bad coloring wise, even though the surface is not watercolor paper so it's possible manageable so it's fine you can do it go on <laughs> I think I still don't like how dark uh, the edges are here I don't know there's something about them edges that <laughs> I I don't know it just doesn't rock my boat here at all. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna clean that a little bit. I'm tempted to add white on the edges. Uh, on the edges, maybe that's what I should do. But before I'll do it, let me grab some other color now. <clears throat> maybe a little bit of black and to see where are we with our girl now I love that I love her I really truly love love this girl now now well now yeah I, 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 I wasn't in <laughs> such a love with her yet I am now and what I will do is I'm gonna try to smudge the edges again <clears throat> and I'm gonna soften up a little bit and hope for this to be what's the word um uh, I don't know I think it's too late hour for my brain to work properly I'm trying to just blend in and soften in and make this nice basically that's the idea that's the idea so she's gonna have a little bit of dark hair as well as orangish yellowish you know I like that blending in idea very much <laughs> good girl you're looking pretty this brush <laughs> is annoying me okay I have another one which is more flat no, not, no point not pointy one maybe this will be fine we'll see we we'll see we will see okay I love that I love you I love you my girl you're my girl <laughs> okay I think we're nearly there ready to finish off but I still probably wish to add a little bit of white on her face somewhere kind of I don't know make her prettier than what she is now 
she's quite dark <clears throat> so maybe just a touches of white I don't know <laughs> I don't know whether it's a good idea or not but I'm gonna chance it and just try to just do a little um, Photoshop of her <laughs> of her skin and face and all so just so I feel better with it <laughs> do I feel better I'm not too I'm not too sure maybe I'm gonna do same with the hair here what a strange uh, reactions their products have when when they react with water and all so very strange and interesting okay we forgot about this flower my friends we forgot about this one and we can add more color here maybe <clears throat> and here as well maybe mm -hmm. and also where is this what is this solution? This is what? Ecoline Blender. Mm. I have never used it before. Can you believe it? Does it do the job? It looks, it seems that it does. It's like watercolor, uh, like a watercolor, just a water brush. So that's okay. I wonder if this will clear off when it's done, you know, for a different color. Like, okay. I think it's time to dry it guys and love it <laughs> and finish it off okay so it's time to finish her off I'm using Micron archival ink um, drawing thing <laughs> drawing thing and possibly it it will get uh, somehow uh, destroyed maybe so hopefully not so I'm kind of um, trying to make my girl uh, lines and everything being more visible so she has the definition with her features and her pretty lips <laughs> in the middle of the book not the easiest task but possible now I'm gonna try to make some bit of definition with her face so it will be easier to see now Time maybe for our flowers <clears throat> a little bit. I wonder if this process is not boring. Maybe it should be speed up rather than uh, maybe that's why I'm doing it so fast because <laughs> I'm trying to not make sure that it's not that boring. Look, it's not gonna work now. We need a paper, a piece of paper. Where is it? Oh, I have it. Two seconds. Now I decided to sit down now because, yeah. Okay, it works, but we need to help it a little bit because we are over gelatos. So I'm still surprised that it actually does the job at all. Uh, but the key in this case, when you when we were using gelatos, were to prime the page first, which is make sure that uh, we you add gesso. Then um, all the colors were really blended, semi-transparent, as you could see. So that way we don't have really that waxy uh, texture on top of the page. It is waxy, but not that hard, not that harsh, not that difficult. So it's possible to go over with your tools, I guess. Now I have this also here somewhere. Oh, I have it. This one is not permanent, but 
it's it's just from little ordinary black pen I'm gonna try to use that and see yeah this thing does work on every surface but it's not permanent so if you are this type of person that has to have everything permanent you may not love it because it could ruin your page if some water goes on it works nearly like elegant writer it does react with water which is interesting so we may try it and see even <laughs> in a second how this react with water so I love that so far so good it dries quite slow I have to say and now it's gonna be a task <laughs> to not paint not smudge what I have here <laughs> I'm gonna get up because I will see everything much better from when I stand. <clears throat> she doesn't smile, isn't she? Maybe now. Yeah, just a little bit. She is quite sad. I don't know why I didn't. I wasn't talking to her much, so. <laughs> No, just kidding. Now let me grab some other permanent, uh, permanent marker and see. It does work. It just takes take your time when you're trying to use it. This one is thicker than the previous one, so I love her. You're very pretty girl. You really are. We have to finish off your gorgeous eyes as well. So you could be definitely pretty, pretty, pretty. <clears throat> yeah. You do look nice. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, where's the brush? I have it. Let me see what will happen if we just, yeah, see, this will react with water and makes that a bit darker, but maybe we like that, maybe we can do it a little bit darker, just a little bit, so, do we, do we love it, just a little bit, <clears throat> I like that. Just a little bit, okay. Okay. Now we need some white. Um, you can dilute your white gesso or you can dilute your white acrylic and try to um, create some, some dimension in your girl's eyes and create a white addition on her. Eyes. That makes a difference straight away, isn't it? You can also use the um, uh, what you call it Sharpie or or Posca pen, whatever you fancy. How are you, girl? You're looking pretty good. I think I love you. Let me just clear that. I should dry it. <laughs> of course I didn't dry it because I didn't dry it and now we lost our definition but that's okay. You know what? I'm gonna dry it guys. Two seconds. Let me do that. Okay, we can continue <laughs> with our flowers and other things so I'm just trying to make some circle uh, no some dots on hair if you're following my Instagram you can see plenty of my girls <laughs> there's loads of them there I love doing them and I do some dots many times I guess <laughs> it's something I really like to do so 
Um, I'm not the only way, but the only one actually. But everyone has its own kind of way of seeing, <laughs> seeing those those dots. So yeah, I think they're nice, nice addition to to everything. <laughs> How are you today? You are beautiful. So pretty. So pretty. Show me yourself. What do you think? <laughs> I think we we're gonna have to do some splashes as well, isn't it? <laughs> A bit more of white there. And let me grab some of my Posca, maybe. Where is that? Posca or Sharpie, if I, if I find it between... Oh, I have it, actually. <laughs> okay, I have it. So I just wish to do, like, them kind of lines here. You are so nice. <laughs> we need eyelashes. Yes. <laughs> this is what we miss. Eyelashes. No. You look different today. But I love you. You, you know when you make things, you have to love your projects, you have to fall in love in them, even if they're not perfect, because they, they are not perfect, of course, they're not. So try to love them, try to fall in love in them, <clears throat> try to kind of, I don't know, learn them, enjoy them, um, you know, I, I hope you know. Now I feel that I'm missing a little bit of hair there, <clears throat> so I'm gonna just add it here and there, here and there, changing hair color. I love that. I think she will look really nice in a bit of darker colors, <clears throat> red hairish. <laughs> Maybe not that much, but a bit, a little bit. Okay, and where is my brush? Okay, we have some not broken brush. <laughs> so we can definitely, oops, try to work around here just a little bit. You see, it's a, it's kind of a long process, isn't it, to love it and to be happy with it completely so don't give up just keep on drawing painting keep on what you're doing this is gonna be your uh, best option I guess that's all I can say now I think she needs some title don't you think or some drawing or something 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 for sure and she needs eyelashes let me dry her um, important part eyelashes so I'm using my doesn't she look straight away different and better so I'm just using my 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 micron thing just to draw some eyelashes. Mm -hmm. They should be better seen, so I'm gonna repeat, redo them kind of here and there to make them thicker, more visible. So she's gonna be pretty. Every girl, <laughs> including us, we do look better with eyelashes, I think when they are 
nicely done so show me yourself girl yeah <laughs> you look so handsome <laughs> I like it I like that okay now I still feel maybe the title what else what else what else do we miss oh maybe I need to define her eyes more maybe I do Mm-hmm. Probably yes. <clears throat> Probably yes. Maybe I'll use this, my black from Lidl. And her, oops, <laughs> yeah, that's better. Her eyes must be very visible, and her eyelashes. Now it's nearly too many. <laughs> that's okay. That's fine. She is what she is. And I think she's quite happy with what she looked like. Mm, I think we can try to add some sticker. And I have this beautiful word. Word says shine. Now, where can I add this on her eye? <laughs> no. But here, yeah, shine. Um, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. <clears throat> what about? Enjoy today, don't yeah, don't give up. This is my message to you. Don't give up. Even though this page was giving me a little bit of hard time. We keep on going. Oops, keep on going, keep on going. So don't give up. And what else? Inspire no creative mess. Yeah, it is like a creative mess <laughs> And we can add this there for sure There we go Loving it loving it Loving it Okay, and maybe one more here Allow your soul to grow No There we go There we go We did it we have it with no splashes for a change. Um, oh, by the way, those are my stickers. If you wish to buy them, go to 13 Arts, look for Maremi stickers or for Marta stickers. Um, I give you a link below the video. She's finished and she shines. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this creative session with me, creative evening. As you can see, look what a mixture we had. Watercolors, brush, watercolor brushes, markers, um, acrylic paints, gelatos. As you can see, you can use so much from your tools, from your art supplies. Just use them up, experiment, try what works with what and how and what can you do uh, to enjoy. Uh, thank you so much for your time, for watching, for supporting and for every single kind and beautiful word uh, under my videos, all your comments. I recently lost <laughs> a chance to read them yet again. There was so many that you've broke the system, you killed it. <laughs> Uh, I promise to, I try to read as many as I can and reply to your messages, your questions if there is there, there are any. I hope this type of uh, art journaling was fun for you. Uh, different, most definitely, uh, something different for a change. Uh, I like her, it's, she's, she is, she is what she is, that's what I think. <laughs> 
I uh, I hope it will encourage you to try and at least create some background maybe grab some old book and just do it just enjoy it and go for it uh, thank you yet again I will wrap up at that I will quickly edit video so you can watch it it will be extremely long I can sense it already uh, thank you so much yet again I will chat to you super soon I will thank you bye bye bye